order to maximize the experience of our drive from Athens to Lefkada, we added a rest stop in a city that carries a lot of historical weight, Corinth. Given its ideal location sitting directly on the narrow isthmus of Corinth, the ancient city was a flourishing center of trade dating back to the Bronze Age. Today, it's a quiet town with narrow streets and traditional houses. According to Greek mythology, it was founded by none other than Sisyphus. And if that's not enough, it was here the Apostle Paul spent a year and a half on his missionary journey in the year 51 to establish the Christian faith. This city and its people are mentioned many times in the New Testament. It sounded like a great place to stop for an iced cappuccino on a 100 degree day. There's a bustling tourist scene here with cafes and artisan food shops, so scoring one was not difficult. What I came here for were to see the ruins of ancient Corinth, and they're easy to find, right in the middle of town on the main road. We had our cappuccinos right outside the walls. Ruins in Greece are closed during the hottest part of the day. And although the guard was nice enough to let us down the stairs to take a closer look, we had to enjoy the sights from the entrance patio. The Romans burned Corinth to the ground in 146 BCE, and the city stayed virtually deserted for a century before they finally rebuilt it and turned it once again into a center of trade. This vantage point at the entranceway gives you a commanding view of what they left behind. The Agora, which is kind of like Main Street. It's where commerce, politics, and socializing took place. Even from here, you could make out the individual shops that lined the street. And it wasn't difficult to imagine Paul strolling from one to the other, meeting those he'd later be talking to in his letters to the Corinthians. And the most famous of the ruins here, the ancient Temple of Apollo. This Roman symbol of prosperity is more than 2,500 years old and once consisted of 42 columns like these seven that remain standing today, each carved from a single block of limestone. Nearly 2,000 feet above it all is the imposing Acropolis Acrocorinth. With a castle atop dating to the 12th century, this fortress has commanded a view of the region for 3,000 years. And speaking of commanding views, I finally got a look at the culprits who'd been making all the background noise on this trip. They look like crickets. 